So let's take a look at the actual Galaxy Note and just review some of the different options and, and, and the controls that the phone has in itself. So first of all, you have your traditional home button here, so it's something, it's a physical button that you press to go to the home screen. You do have your traditional back and your menu buttons. At the very top, you have your earpiece for your microphone. You have uh, what appears up here at the very top are your gesture uh, sensors, so that as you go over the phone, the actual gestures get activated. You have your camera, which uh, this is a two megapixel front-facing camera, right? You also then have here in the side, uh, you have your power button, so this will power up the device. You have at the very bottom one speaker, okay? Um, your USB 3.0 uh, actual uh, connecting port. You have a pinhole mic, the stylus itself, and the stylus kind of snaps in a little bit. Here, you can hear that? So it snaps in, which is good. You have the, your volume uh, rockers up and down, headphone jack, pinhole mic, and then an LED um, or infrared controller for uh, your television and whatnot. On the back, you do have another camera, a 13 megapixel camera in this case. The back of the device has kind of a, not a true, but kind of a, a, a faux finish leather feel to it, and you'll notice that there's kind of um, some some stitching here on the side that you know gives it somewhat of an upscale feel. If we were to open it up, you'll find that let's see, I think it's right there. Yeah, right here. So if you see right there, there's a little notch that you can click on or put your nail in to open up the cover, just like that. And what you'll see is uh, one of the things that's misleading when you open it up. When I first um, was was researching the device, I I was a little freaked out when I saw that there is there are no other slots for your micro SD. But what they did it, which is pretty ingenious, is they have right here. Let me see if I can get that nice and clear. You have a dual slot bay. Here you have your SIM, and on the top you have your SD. And you got to make sure you do this right. So this is where your 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 phone SIM would go. And that would be, again, that micro SIM. And then your micro SD, which is your memory card, goes right on top. So what they did is they saved a lot of space by um, just doing that comb combination. I, this is the first uh, phone that I see with this uh, from the Samsung line. There may be some others, so you guys can comment on that. But I really like the fact that they're both combined. Uh, to put the cover back on, all you do is really press it and start pressing around, and you'll hear the snaps. And that's it. Now, more about the phone. The phone does have a... Um, uh, 3 gigabytes of RAM, 32 gigs of un onboard memory. So when you add another 32 or another 64 gig uh, memory uh, card, you're going to have more than enough space. 2.3 gigahertz quad core processor. So it should be super fast. It is running Android 4.3, which is one of the newest versions, if not the newest version from, from, uh, from Google. And it does have Samsung's um, TouchWiz. So, you know, um, it's LTE, it has Wi-Fi, uh, the latest Wi-Fi features, it does has NFC, which allows you to do that contact and, and transfer information, Bluetooth uh, 4.0, and obviously it does have GPS capabilities. So uh, it's a little bit thinner than the previous version as well. Uh, and one thing about the screen is that this is a high-definition, super LED screen. So now let's, uh, in the next video, we'll take a look at startup and uh, setup.